All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar, Peter Baugh, the athletic. Hey, Jared. Um, I guess in general, what did you think of your team's effort defensively tonight? Loved it. <laughs> what, Loved in, it. what in particular did you love about it? Their reloads, tracking, D gaps were, were outstanding. Our breakouts were great in and out of our zone, especially third period. I thought the third period is probably the best defensive period we played all year. Any other questions for Jared? Back to Peter Baugh, the athletic. And then Nate said he, he played better than, or he felt better than expected. What did you think of his game? Yeah, I thought they were good. They're a big part of, of getting us a lead in the first period. That line was uh, dangerous, a good ozone possession time. Um, first period, I thought we were on our toes and, and really on the attack. They kind of turned it and flipped it a little bit in the second period. But then the third, I thought, again, we did a great job. But uh, Nate's line was really good. Go ahead, Peter, again. Yeah, I wanted to ask about Kale's play on the on the Kadri goal. Um, I think that was at the the very end of of his shift. What does that just say about, I guess, his endurance level? Yeah, outstanding shift by him. We watched it back after the first period. I think uh, he's in on both those first two goals, and the, and the last one. You know, he looked like he was trying to get off the ice there for a second. A puck turned over. He stays back in it, and then he rushes it up the ice. I mean, he's in he's in phenomenal condition. So, I mean, the the latter part of that shift was equally as good as the, as the start of his shift, and he makes a big play to help get us a lead. And Peter, go ahead. Um, the I I know that you guys have like a just a ton of games coming up in a short period of time. I don't know if it's eight and fifteen or whatever, but. Um, how important was it, I guess, to get a good cushion and be able to roll your lines fully so that guys kind of could not rest, but be a little more rested going into this stretch? It's imp for me, it's important all year long. I mean, especially when you're busy, you know, that's a good point. But I think if you if you can get out and you can play with the lead and you can have your whole team involved, you know, they feel good about their role in 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 and the identity that they um, bring to your team and, and what they're contributing on a nightly basis. And I've said it before, uh, you know, happy hockey players are, are productive hockey players. So I want them all involved and I want them all to feel good about it. So playing with the lead is, is um, an integral part of that because if you fall behind, you tend to shorten the bench and try to get your top guys out there more and it can be taxing, you know, like at times, uh, I want to be able to do that. And at times I also want to make sure our top guys are getting on the ice and, and, and getting the minutes that they want and, and deserve, but um, full team effort for me is the way to win down the stretch and, and in the playoffs. So it's important. And last one here on zoom, Eric Dean, mile high sports. Jared, these last four games obviously have all gone to Darcy Kemper and they might be the best stretch he's had all season. He's only let in five goals and had that shutout today. Just, uh, not that you didn't have it before, but just where is the team's confidence level in, with him and the way he's responded in the stretch? Oh, it's high. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I've felt like Darcy's been getting better and better as the season's gone on. Now, he had a couple setbacks with the COVID and the injuries, and um, they weren't long-term, but, you know, his game was spiking before those two uh, um, times that he missed games. So, it's why we want to keep them going. And, and Frankie's sitting there waiting to go. We got a back to back coming up. So we'll need both guys, but we got a tremendous amount of, of confidence in both of our guys. Everyone a little more specifically on Kemper and your, your penalty kill in the second period. Dallas went off pretty strong. Base. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, well, the, our penalty kill has been doing a lot of work here recently. Um, Nolan Pratt's revamped uh, our structure in zone. And I just thought tonight we were making really good reads and, and, and doing the right things. It was um, aggressive. It, we were winning puck battles, but we were protecting the middle of the ice pretty good, getting in shot lanes. I mean, the one time they had extended offensive zone possession, we weren't letting any shots get through to the net. Um, so just guys being dialed in, great focus, right positions, good stick position, and then, again, good good aggressiveness. And and part of it, too, was our clears. Like, when we got the puck on our stick, we got it down the ice, which makes them come 200 feet.